Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back like we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for pulling in and tuning in yeah. for another reaction. Now, we're going to be checking out a different video. This is from uh, Ch China Ann. Okay. I don't know. Uh, she's, she's also like a media YouTuber. Okay. I've never or, heard of her before. Yeah, she's been on YouTube. I've seen her on YouTube several times. Not necessarily with the media. No, not with the media, but I've seen her on YouTube several times. Okay. Doing her own thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on this particular video that we're going to be checking out, it's very, very interesting, especially the title. Now, this is China Ann McClain speaks on why the entertainment industry is hiding God. Oh. Are they? Are they? We hear a lot of things in regards to like the underworld about like the entertainment industry, Ooh, especially when it comes uh, to Hollywood. And you stuff. know, like the celebrities talking about like the higher ups, talking about they're supposedly like a Hollywood Illuminati type of thing going on. So, yeah, I heard that. Before. You know, I've heard that multiple times. Definitely. Oh, this should be good then. So I, I really wanted to check this one out, especially when you're talking about like the entertainment his, the entertainment industry. And then in relation to hiding God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into Miss China Ann. China Ann. McLean. McLean. Yeah. Okay. So, I know that there are a lot of people that are wondering <laughs> why it seems like believers in God are always trying to, like, tell other people about it. It's like, why not just keep it to yourself, right? I've gotten that a lot since I started doing these videos. It's like, China... We get it. You believe in God. If you believe, just believe. And then, like, you don't have to make others believe, too. But I think there's a little bit of confusion. And I am going to hopefully clear it up for you today as to why I do it and why I make these videos. This analogy that I'm going to use today is one that my dad told myself and my family a long time ago. And it always stuck with me. Okay, so we're going to call it... Michael McLean's snake in the yard analogy, okay? So say we're best friends. You come over to my house and we chilling, right? We watching movies, we listening to music, and I got like art stuff spread out, so we drawing and painting and stuff. And then I remember, oh shoot, I forgot to take my dog out. Just stay here, let me take him in the backyard, I'll be right back. You're like, okay, cool, I leave you in the room painting. I take my dog downstairs and I unlock the door. I'm like, come on, Cujo. And right when I'm walking out, what Cujo. do I see? I see a snake in the yard. So I grab my dog, rush back inside, close, lock the door. And then I go back upstairs to my room where I left you. I see that you've gotten up and you're about to leave the room. And I'm like, wait, where are you going? And you're like, oh, I just, I wanted to go to the backyard too, get some fresh air from these paint fumes. And I said, okay. Oh. Mm. I'll see you when you get back. So you go downstairs, you open the door, you head out there to get some fresh air, and oh, a snake bites you. So you throw it off of you, and you run back in the house, and you close the door, and you lock it, you run back upstairs to my room, and you starting to limp at this point. Your leg is hurting. And you're like, China, China, I just got bit. There's a snake in the yard. And I say, Oh, yeah, I know. I saw it when I was going to take my dog out. <laughs> wow. What would your next statement be? Why you ain't tell me? I know. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you saw me heading in that direction. I told you I was going in the backyard. Why didn't you tell me there was a snake back there? And I said, I don't know. I, I wasn't trying to force what I knew on you. So I just thought that you should learn for yourself, as we all should, you know, because I love you. So I was trying to give you that freedom. Does that make any sense? You wouldn't think that I... That makes perfect sense. That makes a lot of sense how she broke that down. I mean, yeah. I in, mean, in regards in to the what simplest she said, form. yeah. What basically is it? Because anybody else would be like, well, why wouldn't you tell me that? Exactly. Why you let me go out there and get bit? Exactly. Okay. And she used that, the same analogy in regards to God. Right. Freedom. Does that make any sense? <laughs> you wouldn't think that I actually loved you if I knew there was a snake in the yard. You told me, oh, I'm about to go to the backyard. And I just let you wander on back there without warning you of the danger. Now, if you told me, oh, I'm going to the backyard to get some air. And I said, oh, no, 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 don't go back there. I just saw a snake back there. Would giving you that information 
be forcing something down your throat, forcing my beliefs on you. No, it's showing you that I love you and I care about what happens to you. I do videos talking about God to warn you about the snake in the yard. That's the point. I was headed in the backyard. By the grace of God, I got away from the snake before it bit me. Now I see others heading towards the backyard. I know there's a snake back there. And so I'm just warning you and letting you know, yo, there is danger in that direction. And now you have a choice to make. It's as simple as that. You can either choose to be like, oh, heard you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back <laughs> the way I came. Or you're gonna choose to be like, <laughs> let me see. <laughs> China, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I, I'm gonna go back there anyway, excuse me. <laughs> Now notice, nowhere in my analogy, or Michael McLean's analogy, did I say that I was gonna force you in the room and I was gonna forcefully keep you from going in the backyard. That would be forcing something down your throat. I never said that, you your own person. You got free will. If you wanna go in the backyard, after I've told you that there's a snake back there, do your thing, you can go. You gotta make your own decisions. But just warning you of the dangers, see, because I've been through certain things in my life, especially in the industry that I work in. So I know that God is real. And people can tell you all day, well, you don't know that. You don't know God is real. That's a belief. You don't know what I know. Only I do. If I ask you what your favorite color is and you say, oh, it's blue. And I'm like, you don't know that. <laughs> Does that make sense? No, because only you know your experiences in life. Only you know what you know, just like me. So I don't believe that God is real. I know God is real at this point, whether people believe that or not, that's the truth. Either way, hmm. I'm not gonna force you to do nothing. Whatever decisions you make in your life ain't none of my business, they got nothing to do with me. But if I didn't tell you about the danger, I would not be showing you love or compassion. I would be showing you that I didn't give a crap about you. And it's funny because this situation literally just happened. Our neighbor texted myself and my sisters and was like, uh, I just saw a snake in my yard. So just wanted to let y'all know for your own safety and for your pet safety. Our neighbor did that because they have love in their heart. This is how I show you that I love you. I have gotten bullied more for talking about God than I ever have in my life. Public school wasn't this bad. Like for real, I did not expect to have people straight up cussing me smooth out for doing these videos about God. And hmm. I've tried to do it respectfully. Wow. I don't know why I was shocked about that though. It literally says in the Bible, it talks about how spreading the word of God is difficult. It's not easy. Jesus is my example. He is the one that I want to be like. I am not required to convert anybody in order to secure my eternity. Mm. I have accepted that Jesus paid the wages of my sin on that cross when he was crucified. I love God and I love his son, Jesus Christ. And I try my best to live my life according to his word. I try my best. I already know where I'm going when I die, but what good is eternity in paradise if I have left a whole host of other people when I could have shared these things with you guys mm. and you could have maybe made it too. What good is that? What really did I change? The afterlife is the most important part. We don't know how long we're gonna get down here on this earth. I could die tomorrow. If I warn you of the danger that I know is waiting down there and you still choose to go in that direction, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you. It don't even affect me. But if you end up in trouble, just know that I tried because I love you. So you can't be mad at me, you can't blame me. And guess who else you can't blame? God. Because I've heard so many people say, oh, I, I, no, I don't believe in God because he ain't never tried to show me no sort of sign. He's never tried to reveal himself to me or let me know that he cares or in any sort of way. I, I, I don't know, I ain't got nothing to work with here. Hmm. Really, how'd you come in contact with this video? Did it pop up on your For You page or your home page randomly? Did a friend or a family member just happen to send it to you out of the blue? I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. I don't know what is happening over there. Somebody mowing a lawn. It sounds like somebody shooting off firecrackers in that direction. I don't know what's going on, but just excuse the noise. If you don't want to watch my videos talking about God, I love you just the same. But for the people that do want to hear it, 
these videos are gonna be here. Because in this dark world we're in, I've noticed a pattern in what is being represented. People think that this stuff is just a game. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan, not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. And people are just like, oh, that's funny. It's, you know, we're making fun. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know good and doggone well that God exists. They also know that Satan exists. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. But either way, the things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you. Whether you realize it in the moment or not, they affect you, that's why they do it. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. I'm not gonna sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct. I can say whatever I have to say with respect for all of you, mm. but I'm gonna say it. And, and I'm gonna say it bluntly. See, I'm gonna say right, what I'm gonna say. Bye. Yeah, she gonna say exactly how she needs to say it because she's trying to reach the masses. Wow. Wow. And, and I'm just thinking, not this particular video, but, I, you know, she brought up the bullying fact that people are bullying her because of these videos. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if this part of the video that we watched, because this is like a, a later part of kind of what she's doing in regards to like this particular video. Mm -hmm. But I'm just wondering, she's particularly like talking to them. She's talking to those people that's bullying her, people that don't want to hear it, you know? Yeah, because she course. Because like she said, I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying to warn you that it's a snake in the backyard. The thing is, though, like what I've learned from like the most <clears throat> of probably doing videos and being a reactor is like political stuff and religious stuff are triggers for a lot of people. Yeah. And I mean like some in the worst way, like because they just don't, they don't have the same views and ideology like as you do in terms of like what you grew up with and your beliefs and stuff like that and you know it, it can it, to me i just feel like you know people just get fired up behind stuff like that especially when they like you they like watching your videos but mm -hmm. then it's like at the same time they hate you because they hate that you don't think like them mm -hmm. so you know like she said it's like i'm not i'm not changing anything to be politically correct it's just like if she's telling you how she feels and what her beliefs are i don't I don't know why there's no respect factor. There's no boundary respect to is, people. That's paramount. You know, having their their own state of mind, and that's the problem that we have. Like now, I feel like you know, especially like just in regards to just people just having uh, a, a different mindset or just different views, like you said. Right. Or if you want to go even further than that, just different core beliefs. Yeah. Because that's, because that's what it comes down to is like your core belief system, and that's why some people get rubbed the wrong way, and they get very very sensitive because it it, it hits something in 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 that sensitive nerve. And that sensitivity but I feel inside like of you. That part is what's frustrating about it, though. It's just like you can't even discuss that and be respectful of other people and what they think. Because I've said this before. I've said this a million times. <clears throat> I just don't think that just because somebody doesn't think like you doesn't make them a bad person. So, you know, that's the part where I get I get frustrated behind that. Because it's just like, I don't, you don't have to think that, you know, we got to both be you know, Republicans, or we both have to be Democrats or Democrats to be friends with each other. Why we can't just be friends and just yeah. be regular? And just, have, and, like, just have, and just have like a normal dis <laughs> we just, a normal we just discourse. keep that part out yeah. of our, our conversation and we keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, I like you. I know you got good a good heart. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't know. I guess I just don't. You just have so many different people that, that that let those types of things like block them from actually like acknowledging or opening up to other people. Be because of like certain like things like that, like you said, some some political view or, you know, going even further than that. If I believe in 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 this, but you don't believe in it the same way I believe in it, then you know, it's like you kind of push them away. People draw those barriers. So I, 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 a, I see I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, there's a difference of like pushing something onto somebody and then just just. You informing know, people right mm -hmm. informing people and then and then just existing in, in whatever it is in your mindset in your mind frame and still exist with other people mm -hmm. without thinking oh she don't think like me i don't like her right it's, it's, it's <laughs> especially when you put it a certain way when it comes across like just like how she said and, and you can sit and watch her you can watch her mannerisms you can watch how she talks you can you can listen to her tone yeah. face, her facial expressions like everything she's doing is, is out of love so it, it's like you, you know when someone's doing it vindictively yeah. or they're doing it negatively. When someone's doing it 
purely out, out of the love of their heart and just giving you, you know, what's inside of them and, you know, just in regards to like your viewpoint yeah, or things that you feel like that could help the next individual, you know, why, why be quiet about it? I mean, just because someone doesn't like it, you know? Yeah. I guess, you know, her point to her point is, is mostly just people aren't accepting, you know, because at the end of the day, you, you are more like likely to just go or gravitate towards somebody who is more like you than you are to be with somebody who's not like you. But that doesn't mean that you don't like them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just like, oh, okay, I got more in common with them. I can talk about more. I can converse with them more. But when you have somebody that is, I don't know, I, I feel like you're not my friend for the right reasons if we can't just talk on a, on a deep level about things even when we disagree, yep. you know? So, I mean... Definitely, I I, and, and I like this video for that too. Yeah. Because again, I'm always I'm always open to someone just sharing their beliefs mm. at the end of the day, whether I believe it or not. You yeah. know, I'm always I'm always going to open the ear, especially when they're doing it out of love and it's positive. Well, then you talk about the Hollywood aspect of it. You mm -hmm. know, you, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and th there got to be some other videos probably before <laughs> before this one that we got to jump into because she might jump into that a little deeper because she is in the entertainment industry. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's why she's she's so pretty. That's why I was like, I, I didn't know who she was, but yeah. that that would make sense then. Okay. Well, y'all let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And for sure. Um, do you think that Hollywood is like hiding guy from what the industry? Right? Is that what it was? Hiding uh, guy from the industry? Just just eradicating it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all let us know what y'all think about that. I know that there's some videos that's been put out there where people do some things, and it's just like, whoa. You know, when you it, really blow deeply really look at what is happening, it's like, damn, they put that on TV? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and, it'd and be that, like and, that. And that's just like another rabbit hole to go down. Yeah. Because, because you, can go on, you, you can go on about that all day long. Yep. And it was yep. important that she said because she said it's a, it's a lot about influence. Yeah. So, you know, we'll drop it off there, but we definitely going to pick up, you know, pick up where we left off at yeah. regarding like the entertainment industry, them shunning God from it, and, uh, you know, all the things that go... The whole rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so y'all let us know what y'all think. If y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell. And if ain't nobody else told you, mm. I love you. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. Bye. Mm -hmm.